The extremely lavish lifestyle of Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un is estimated to be worth $5 billion. That's impressive for a country like North Korea. 60% of Kim's subjects live below the poverty line. But of course, the entire country belongs to Kim anyway. He's spent $4 billion on luxury goods since he assumed office. The Supreme Leader owns 17 palaces. His main residence is the central luxury mansion in Pyongyang. It's a new proof compound surrounded by minefields. Several special military units defend the property from intruders. The palace has its own underground train station. Kim can take the subway to get to his other palaces. Each palace has pianos. A total of 36 have been imported. Each piano costs $60,000. Kim's main palace has a $200,000 personal theater. It features seats for 1,000 people and even concession stands. Kim likes to visit it alone. The mansion also holds his $8 million collection of Swiss watches. But he doesn't have to live underground, of course. After all, Kim owns his own Ibiza. The exclusive party island is off-limits to the citizenry. There are football pitches, basketball courts, and swimming pools. There's a water park used by Kim alone. There's a marina full of luxury yachts. The jewel of Kim's private fleet is the $7 million Princess 95 Super Yacht. The boat is 100 feet long and has a crew of 24. It has an onboard saloon stocked with imported liquor. One time guest Dennis Rodman called it a cross between a ferry and a Disney boat. The yacht was not built in North Korea. Princess is a UK-based luxury yacht manufacturer. If it gets too hot out on the sea, Kim can always go skiing. That's what the multi-million Masakyong Ski Resort is for. The resort is theoretically accessible to the public, but only high-ranking party members can get in. When Kim visits, the entire resort is closed to visitors. There's an Austrian-made ski lift serviced by children. Some are as young as 11. Reportedly, Kim likes being served by kids. He's paranoid around adults. Kim rarely travels abroad, but when he does, he tends to avoid airplanes. This is probably another paranoid precaution. Instead, Kim takes his private train. A personal train is a neat thing to have, but it gets better. Kim has his own personal railroad. Yes, the train runs on a separate set of tracks. They can take him across North Korea and into China or Russia. The train has 90 carriages, furnished like Versailles. There are French wines, fresh caviar and lobsters, Kobe steaks and Emmental. These foreign foods can't be legally imported, but Kim has a special team of personal shoppers. They are sent to all corners of the world to procure his favorite food. Kim spends $30 million a year on liquor alone. His favorite beverages are whiskey and cognac. Pork is shipped from Denmark. Beef comes from Japan. Kim's caviar used to come from Iran, but is now mostly Russian. When Kim gets tired of rail travel, he can always take a road trip. North Korea has few roads, and they're mostly empty of traffic. Kim's personal carpool constitutes 0.5% of all vehicles in North Korea. There are a few Rolls Royces and custom Land Rovers. There's a whole fleet of Mercedes G-Wagons. Kim's favorite is an armored Mercedes, worth $1.7 million. Even though he hates flying, Kim has his own airplane. Air Fursun is a $70 million Russian Il-62 jetliner. Finally, Kim also has a stable of 140 purebred horses. He has spent over $600,000 to acquire them. Of course, Kim has a golf course as well. The question is, who plays against him?